A Missouri town about to lose a lifeline. But residents are fighting to keep Simmons First National Bank open in Green Ridge. New at 6, 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez traveled there to show us the impact this financial institution has on this community. Outside of Sedalia is Green Ridge, Missouri. The slogan around here, there's no place like home. But soon, Simmons First National Bank on Main Street won't call this home anymore. It's going to be a big change for a lot of people. The small bank has served businesses and residents since the late 1800s. A few weeks ago, the bank told customers they would close June 30th. We'll have to make a run to get more change. Superintendent Smaller Kara Easter um, says point. her school district is the bank's biggest customer. Maybe from the outside looking in, people don't even realize. And uh, I think everyone's really feeling that it's going to be a hardship for the community. Simmons Bank isn't only shutting down the front doors to its branch, but the 24-hour ATM is going away as well, leaving the district to figure out how they'll efficiently do a 20-mile round trip for their daily deposit to the bank's Sedalia branch. That makes it almost impossible for some of our elderly people to actually get their banking done. Former Mayor Alan Robach has called this his bank since 1973. He says the closure will cripple this community. Our post office has been reduced here, and, and you know, the bank leaves that this may be another reason to lose that post office too. You, you never know what their thinking is. In a statement, a bank spokesperson told us customers using electronic banking made them evaluate their branches. Robach wants the bank to reconsider their decision or sell the facility to another bank. If not, well, I guarantee if I go to today, I won't be a customer of Simmons first. An epic fight brewing in this small community to keep their only financial lifeline open. In Green Ridge, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.